All right, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with a very fun Alliance War video. This is one of my favorite Alliance Wars I've had in a very, very, very long time, man. I'm not using Ghost, I'm not using Mole Man. I'm using my mutants, man. We're bringing in my rank three Archangel, who I don't get to use too much. I absolutely love him. Got my Apocalypse. I haven't used Apocalypse in a fight in a while. In a while, honestly, in any fight, anywhere. Probably since my 7.1 Legends runs the last time I used him at all, right? So that's really, really cool. Um, it's been a minute, but I still remember how to use him, of course. So against this Professor X, there's nothing going on here at all, except for some additional armor. So I don't believe we're going to be critting. I believe that um, he has a little bit of crit resistance with the armor. I think there's a no there for that. I could be wrong. Um, but point is, we just got to get through this fight without dying, okay? So that we can get four charges on Apocalypse um, and then make Archangel a horseman, okay? We were very lucky to have a simple enough mutant fight here in the beginning. Doesn't matter if I leave the fight at 1% health, this is the only fight I'll be using for um, Apocalypse 4. Now I do believe uh, my game started to lag a little bit because of all the blue stuff here. Um, you'll be seeing that in a second. So that's not your computer, that's just the video. Sorry about that, man. But um, it's a lot for um, phones to handle and especially when you know, you're recording the gameplay with the screen capture and whatnot, it, it becomes a lot for the computer to handle, as you can see. So here, you know, the fight's pretty much over. All we have to do is just get to the special one and that's gonna be it, right? So boom, nice, quick and easy fight. This is lagging, so let's jump ahead so that it doesn't hurt your eyes, okay? Sorry about that, guys. Um, but up next, we have this long shot here. I believe Brian was taking it with Torch. Uh, quick and easy fight for him. Um, and then up next, we have Elsa Bloodstone. And we're going to be placing the pre-fight for the Horseman here, as well as the White Magneto pre-fight as well, which comes in clutch a lot in this um, war, you'll see. Okay, um, so we got the Guidance Boost active. Make sure I have both things active. You always want to go in and check, okay? Because there is a bug that goes around very often, right? Where the pre-fight doesn't place. And there's not much you can do about it with the Horseman stuff, but it is still something you want to be aware of if you're, you know, going to be relying on that um possibly there'd be another option uh or if backup uh was able to do like i don't know um i don't even know i don't, I don't even know if there would be any other option here to make him a horseman for me but point is they both stuck okay it's a really bad bug that happens sometimes we didn't have to deal with it uh, we have this mix master elsa bloodstone here okay i wanted the pre-fight because i didn't want her shrugging any of my stuns um that would have been annoying, right? So definitely don't want to deal with that. As you can see, we have the passive stun there. Um, we have our Archangel up as a horseman now. We got a couple boosts on as well. Um, we're going to be doing some really, really good damage really, really fast. As you can see, this Elsa is just melting. And this this fight was lagging a little bit as well. Um, a little bit of... Um, sorry about that. I believe the other fights are fine. But just a little bit of keep over from the one before. But yeah, really, really quick 20 second fight here with Horseman, rank three Archangel Man with the guidance boost. Yeah, so really, really, really good stuff. Up next, we're taking this Nick Fury on Encroaching Stun, which was a rough fight, man. This is a very, very rough fight on the map. We see Nick Fury here a lot. Um, is Archangel the best option here? I wanna say probably, um, but it's very, very hard to leave this fight not losing too much health. Now I put on interval boost here just in case, you know, just in case he somehow manages to get like three special ones off or four special ones off and gets to go, you know, pretty much unblockable, right? Uh, just in case. It's not really gonna happen because we're Horseman Archangel and we also have, you know, the ability accuracy synergy from White Magneto. And right away we have two Neurotoxins on him. We're gonna go ahead and just block to get some more poisons, okay? We're gonna build up to a special one here, even though there are five Neuro, so Encroaching Stun's not gonna work. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and throw the special one just in case, you see, because he was shrugging off those Neuro, so I might've gotten stunned there. At this point, gotta bait out the heavy attack and counter with our heavy like that. We gotta get some poisons up on this guy now. We could have baited out the special too, but I wanna just try and get away with him not throwing any special attacks. As you can see, he's just about dead here. We're just letting him drain, holding that block. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, I had enough energy, thanks to somebody moving, I forget who it was at this point, um, that I can go ahead and go to the next spot and go up to Domino with that invulnerability boost active, which is really, really awesome, because she's who I really needed that boost for. But I figured, why don't I try to get two and one, you know, make the most of those boosts that don't come around too often and cost a lot of loyalty. So this is a rough domino, man. I definitely want the guidance boost for this one as well for some more um, attack and everything else. And also um, just because, you know, it's kind of hard to parry her sometimes, right? So basically at this point, I want to just back away 
parry like you would with anybody else. There we go. We got the passive stun. Go right for the heavy attack. It did a lot of damage, man. Like just, you know, it just does a lot of damage when um, you have the attack boost from the guidance and also some boosts on at rank three. Two heavy attacks in, two or three heavy attacks. Look at this. This is probably the fourth heavy attack. 20 second fight. Really, 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 really good stuff by the horsey there. Um, that is going to be it for this segment, right? We have a couple more fights. We have, I think, three more fights here. Um, what was I writing here? Don't even remember. Archangel, better than mole, better than ghost. Because, say it with me, ghost is bad. Oh, okay. I thought I was writing that. Who knows? Mole, mole, mole. My boy, mole. All right. So that's going to be it. Let's move on. <laughs> Jokes aside, right? Okay, so we have a couple more difficult fights here. Um, but of course, Archangel makes it a lot easier. So we have this Sasquatch. This Sasquatch can get very, very dicey here. It's Kinetic Transference, okay? Um, Aspect of Evolution as well. So he's going to be getting a lot of power. He's going to be going passively unstoppable, stun immune. Um, but you know, when we're Horseman Archangel, we're going to be getting some really, really good RNG. So we could start melting him right away, okay? It would have been great to have the Guidance Boost here, but I need it for a later fight, and I've already used two. But at this point, we're not getting good Poison RNG, which is very, very unfortunate. I would have loved to have more Neuros on him at this point. We're going to have to settle with only having three. Uh, this should be enough to just about take him down. So we're going to hold off for a bit, wait this out, put a couple more Bleeds on him, right? Maybe I want to get like one or two more Neuros. At this point, we have three. That should do it just fine. Um, we can go ahead and go for the special attack here now that he is in wrath right we want to just back off let him drain down go for the special two and that's going to be it up next man after we got through this fight very successfully um with some decent rng we have this modok so big shout out to somebody else who placed the mr fantastic debuffs as you could see after we top up our health a tiny bit here um we placed Suppression Field and Petrification Ray from Mr. Fantastic because the nodes here are very, very nasty. <laughs> Kinetic Transference, Power from Afar, and it's MODOK, okay? Um, so if we get bad RNG here, that's it. We're done. He's going to get to a special three. That's it. I didn't have any more invulnerability boosts. I need it. Did I? I think I had the vulnerability boost on, actually. Yeah, I had the invul boost on for Sasquatch and MODOK because of this MODOK fight. It was my last one. Um, but if I got really bad RNG and he somehow got off three special threes, that would be it. That's not going to happen, though, obviously, with Horseman Archangel. As you can see, it was like a 20-second fight. Really, really, really good stuff there by Archangel, man. We were really worried about that fight, but he just ripped right through it. We have one more fight. Um, up here on node 55, or my favorite 53, I get the name, the numbers confused sometimes. You have this void. I had to, I, I wrote a little note next to my computer here that said, make sure you take off suicides. All right, so I went in here, I took my uh, suicides off, I replaced everything, yada, yada, yada. Okay, as you can see. Um, did I still have my invo boost active? I don't remember, let's see. Um, yeah, that's, that's the setup I was running at this point. Um, should have just let it play, huh? Okay, so let's see. I think I went in here. Yeah, I still, I'd, oh my god, I had one second left on the invul boost. I almost got through Sasquatch, Modok, and Void with the invul boost. We really don't need it. This is the last thing we need the guide and stuff for. Um, got some more attack and also don't have to worry about Limber on this node, which is really, really good. Because there's Spry, Limber, Brute Force, a lot of other stuff. Don't want to worry about it. Just want to go in, nuke them down, right? Um, so yeah, this is a very, very simple fight here with Archangel. All we have to do is just manage our combo a tiny bit, okay? Just so that, you know, um, in case we don't have any Neuros on. Like right now, only one Neuro, right? So we want to make sure we're hitting him to get rid of that debuff, okay? So just like we do it with Ghost, we're doing it with Archangel. It's a quick and easy fight here. I'm just going to let him drain, okay? We're going to play it very, very safe. Um, cause the last thing we want is just to take a bunch of hits and then get a bunch of debuffs on us. But this debuff is going to shrug right off because of the neurotoxin. So that's really, really, really awesome there. Got some bleeds on him. I'm um, going to try and bait out some attacks here to get some poisons, but they didn't stick unfortunately, but he's draining as the seconds go by, as you can see quite fast. Going to wait for the little passive debuff to come up and then we're going to get rid of it with the heavy attack for sure. At this point, the fight's over. Um, he's draining and he won't be able to kill me before I can kill him unless I eat a special two to the face. That's not going to happen. I'm holding block, right? Whatever happened, even if I ate a heavy attack, I'm holding block. Um, and that's it because that's the last fight I had Archangel for. So yeah, Archangel just completely went to town, man, that war. He put in so much work. Archangel had six fights, just ripped right through all of them, man. Apocalypse was fun to use against, um, what do you call it, Professor X and whatnot. 
But yeah, man, so I did actually get a card for this war as well. I forgot to put it in the, the scene here, so give me one second. There we go. It's beautiful. We got a little silver card for Archangel. And if you look at our individual stats for the war, halfway through this season, um, completely deathless, really doing really, really well. 38 and 0, 100% uh, solar rate, whatnot. I usually don't put like the power rating in the Alliance, but this was my first time ever being number one overall in the whole Alliance. And I was pretty proud of that. And spoiler alert, it doesn't last very long. So I just wanted to make a little note. So I have that, um, it was cool. You know, I'm not going to be doing that. I wouldn't even be keeping it up if it stayed in the next war. Um, but I just wanted to make a little note for myself. It was something I was proud at, something I always, a goal I always had at any point to be number one in the Alliance. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, four Loki's five and one on the season. We're halfway through. It's been really fun so far. I've been digging Protect over Stubborn. It's less annoying to deal with. And um, Archangel is an absolute beast, man. So that's going to be it for this Land War video. It's getting pretty long when I cut it short here. Uh, if you enjoyed it, drop your boy a big old like. Comment what you think about Archangel. Rank three as a horseman in Alliance War in the comments section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more really fun alliance board videos coming to you very very soon i'll be seeing you around